Hey y'all, welcome back to It Girl Uncensored. It's your girl Cecily, the pop culture It Girl, and I'm back with another video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm in the second trimester of my channel, you guys. We're growing every single day, period. Hit that like and subscribe button so we can continue to grow. And today, we are going to do another edition of Quick Hits. That is when I talk about multiple topics for at least 90 seconds, and that's it. So, I may go over about 91, 92 seconds, whatever like that. But we're not going to spend that much time on the topics at hand. So, let's just go ahead and get into it, you guys. All right. Sierra. Sierra said that um, they were trying to, they, I'm guessing her, maybe the record company, was trying to give her song, Goodies, to Britney Spears, y'all. Can y'all imagine Britney Lynn Spears singing, I bet you want the like can you imagine that like how would that have sound like that is sierra's first single that's her breakout song that is her hit and that's very very interesting let me see britney spears a lot of people are saying that britney spears would have definitely did that song uh some justice but i don't really know this is i'm a slave for you britney spears but then you gotta think that's it. Like, that's the only way I can... There has to be that Britney Spears that would have been able to execute the song. But I can't picture Britney on that song with the beat knocking the way that it do. She wouldn't be like, I bet you want the goodest. I bet you thought about it. Like, that's like, she wouldn't be giving that. I don't doubt that the song would have been good, but baby, we needed Sierra. Sierra did what needed to be done on goodies. I'm sure somebody's going to make an AI version and we're going to get a chance to hear what Britney Spears would have sound like. So that would have been an interesting twist. You know, that was a good little fun fact. And Kelly Clarkson on that couch after like she know what's going on. Like, what? Yeah, like, girl, do you even listen to Sierra? But Sierra was on Kelly Clarkson when she told the story. So, you know, go figure. But I love Sierra. I love a good fun fact. Anyways, next. Dame Dash, you guys. <laughs> I love my Uncle Dame Dash. That's not my real uncle, but he my uncle in my head. Like, I always say that Will Smith is my guy daddy, and Dame Dash is my uncle, okay? So, Dame Dash, you know, there's a hurricane going on in Florida, and shout out to the people that is going through that right now. My hearts and prayers go out to you guys, but Dame Dash said that he thought about not evacuating Florida during the hurricane because he didn't want to seem soft. He, and I, in the video, he did say how his neighbors, they basically stood the test of time through other hurricanes. So, they like, so I guess he said he didn't want to seem soft. Y'all know Dame, they have a problem with looking like anything dealing with soft, okay? He don't even want his tissue soft. He don't want nothing soft. If it don't make him look like a boss, he ain't with it. Evacuating from a hurricane that could take you and your family life, that, that ain't boss-like. That's not what bosses do. You know how Dame talk. That's not how bosses do. Bosses don't run. Bosses stay put. They don't let a little cane scare them. Okay? That's what the hurricane and a little they don't let a little cane run them nowhere. Cause bosses don't run from nothing. Okay? The boss is supposed to be outside during a hurricane. Out there in a the t shirt doing it for a little saint. Dame, I'm glad you evacuated because I think that's what he did. So I'm glad that we didn't need this information, you know. And I'm just glad that your teeth stayed in your mouth this time. But I love you. I do. I, I Listen, I love Dame. Don't get me started. I hate when they be talking about my Uncle Dame like that. But his, he always in the news for something. Please, fellas out there, let's not get caught up into this toxic masculinity to the point where yo ass ain't going to be here no more. But I digress. So, you guys, um, we have some sad news to report sissy houston whitney houston mother has passed away you guys at 91 years old she will be missed she is very unfortunate that you know she had to live to see her daughter pass away and her granddaughter pass away um, but sissy was very slick with the mob child and she made it very clear that if the rumors were true about the nature of Whitney and that Robin relationship that she would not have approved. And when Oprah asked her, Sissy stood on that. Would it have bothered you if your daughter, Whitney, was gay? Absolutely. It would have bothered you? Mm -hmm. yeah. you? You would not have liked that? Not at all. Not at all. You wouldn't have condoned it or... No. 
Sissy stood on business. Ironically, Sissy passed away less than 24 hours after Jennifer Hudson did the tribute to Whitney Houston at the American Music Awards, the 50th anniversary. You know, I, you know Jennifer Hudson, she sang real loud. So she she sang so loud, she, she possibly passed Sissy away. I'm just playing. But, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just her time. They said she died of Alzheimer's. So, you know, rest in peace to that family. We do not have any money to donate for the funeral services. But I'm sure Whitney's estate and the family who got the money will be able to take care of it. We buried too many people already as it is. Okay, our money got, the last money we got tied up in. Okay? We just had to bury Monet Tejada. We had to bury Frankie Beverly and you, James Earl Jones. Like, it's just too much for us. So, I, the family, I'm sure y'all got it. Okay? Next. Perfect segue. Speaking of Jennifer Hudson. You know, I didn't get a chance to do this little story. I'm a little late on this. But, Common. The rapper Common. Rapper and actor. Common was on Jennifer Hudson's show. And, you know, Jennifer Hudson and Common is dating. And everyone has been trying to, you know, figure out if Common is going to actually marry this one. Because out of the list of girlfriends that he has had, he hasn't married any of them. And this is what he had to say. I heard you've been even out there talking about marriage, Karen. Oh, what's that about? <laughs> Jennifer is the person, if, if I should be married, it will be to Jennifer Kate Hudson. The fuck y'all cheering for? What are y'all cheering for? What y'all happy? What? No. We ain't clapping for that. We ain't cheering for that. Did y'all hear what he said? He said, if I was to be married, that's the line for me. This man has been with Taraji B. Henson, Serena Williams, Angela Rye, Tiffany Haddish, Erica Badu. The list goes on. And he ain't married nobody. Okay. If I was to be married, and yeah, you you told me your mama had a quote and said that if you if you know you know no. Now nah, I wish the, you guys the best of luck, but that was some bullshit, and we ain't cheering for that. You weren't supposed to say that, Common. You supposed at least say you are the woman that I will marry. They not getting married next. So, Drake posts a picture of Solange from the infamous elevator fight, okay, uh, with her and Jay-Z and Beyonce. Why he did that, we don't know. We don't know why Drake does the things that he do. He was somewhere giving the speech, child, and talking about fake friends. This is what he had to say. One thing about nostalgia this party here, my real friends are definitely in the building. What's this accent? What's this accent? Drake wants y'all to know, he said, me, myself, and I. That's all he got in the end. That's what he found out. And from now on, he gonna be his own best friend. Baby, Kendrick did a number on Drake, okay? Drake... That's all I got. Jesse Smollett, child. I'm tired. Jesse says that he spent $3 million of his own money to fight a case regarding him being attacked. He said, I have a problem with letting them win on something that they shouldn't be able to. This is what he was asked when he was asked why he won't let it go. Aren't you in a new movie with Vivica? Jesse, you are supposed to be in the process of reviving your acting career. Okay. Let it go. Let please let this go. Like silence. Just shut up. Shut up. You was just supposed to come do your press for the movie and talk about the movie only and do your big one and that's it. You got to let the work speak for itself. Nobody believes the story, okay? Nobody believed the story. They didn't believe they barely they didn't believe it then and they don't believe it now. You got to let this go. He, I saw, he talked about how, you know, as a black man, as a gay black man, and, you know, he's human, and, you know, he could just be silent and just, you know, but no, that's, no, no, you should be silent. 
let it go. You've been dragged from here to hell, to here, from here to here to hell. And no, you still talking three million dollars because, child, Jesse, please, you embarrassing Jernay. Okay, you as embarrassing Jernay. As far as I'm concerned, you the one that got Lovecraft Country canceled. It, it ain't your fault, but for some reason, it kind of is. I don't know why. Just shut up. Next. I'm going to close this story out with Jennifer Lopez, okay? Jennifer Lopez finally did her first interview, and she is talking um, after, you know, her divorce. I don't know if her divorce is actually settled with, um, with Ben Affleck, but, you know, she has said that basically it almost took her out. It's something to be said because things can really change your life in a way. That you do want to give up and say, F this, this is too hard. I don't want to do this anymore, but I'm not there. I refuse to not give myself everything that little girl deserves. Talking about her younger self. Um, Jennifer Lopez is at, she's, I guess she's not searching for a relationship. Finally. J- Jayla don't know how to be alone. We've never seen her alone. And she had, she said that she should have learned her lesson two or three times ago. And I I know this did a number on her because I was actually happy for her and Ben when they got back together. It was like a full circle moment because we were there for the whole Benefer, you know, crave. And then now it's just blown up. We watched their relationship crumble before our eyes. And it's actually sad. I'm actually sad for her, you guys. I really am. And it has to be hard because she thought like, oh, I finally, this is because that's who she wanted to be with all along. And she get them, and it didn't work out. So hopefully she could do some self reflection in this time. I personally don't know what it is that she could have been done. I've have talked about this before in a previous video, and I just think Jayla needs to be by herself. I know we've seen them out recently. They were out um, having a lunch with their kids, but she said that's all that it was. You know, it's just doing the the family thing because of their children. But the divorce is still happening. I was holding out hope that they could work it out. Um, but she needs to be by herself. But how long y'all think before J-Lo get a new man? I tell you this, I bet money. I bet my whole next check, because y'all know where I work at the plant. I bet you J-Lo going to have a new man way before Cardi B dropped this album. And that is all for It Girl Uncensored. I am Cecily, the pop culture It Girl, and that is it for today.